What's up everyone? It's that time of year again. BB Can 7 auditions are just around the corner. So my, you know, DMs are being flooded with, uh, you know, can you give me advice or tips or what did you do? Uh, what's better video or uh, live auditions? Questions like that. So you know what, uh, I've made videos like this before. I made a video last year on tips on how to get cast. And uh, you know what, I'm going to do it again this year. Uh, maybe throw in some new ideas or anything like that. Um, but I just want to say, you know, uh, good luck everybody. If you do plan on trying out and you're watching this, um, you know, don't take everything uh, as gospel. Take some, leave some. You know, at the end of the day, you have to be yourself and be true to you. Uh, I'm going to give some tips on just things that helped, you know, worked for me. Or I can give you some tips on what I've seen over the years. Uh, there are different types of casts, uh, things like that, maybe what they're looking for. Uh, and, you know, another thing I want to say is looking at the season on, on BBUS, uh, BB20, it's such a good cast. And it's such a good season. They may even try to kind of mimic a few of those cast types uh, for the BB Can 7 season. So anyway, guys, um, if you are planning on auditioning, good luck. Bring your A-game. Leave everything on the table. Do not walk away from your audition saying, man, I wish I said this or I wish I said that. Leave it all on the table. Give them a 100 reasons to say yes and don't give them a chance to say no. Um, I will tell you a few things if you do plan on going to a live audition. This is something that, you know, I didn't know when I went to audition back on season three was um, that you do go up. If this is your first time auditioning, then you, you might not know this. If you've auditioned before, then obviously you do know this. But you don't go up one on one with a producer. I didn't know that myself the first time I auditioned or the one time I auditioned. Now, I didn't know that. So I expected to go up for some reason one on one with a producer and uh, you know say my piece but when I found out while I was in line that you actually have four or five other people with you and you have to say your piece in front of them I almost started getting a little nervous and you know I had to snap out of it I said hey man if I can't say my piece in front of these four or five strangers how am I gonna say it in front of Canada so I had to snap out of it so that's one little thing if, if you know if you didn't know already uh, and it's something you didn't expect, you will be doing it in front of other people, uh, people you don't know. So really, why would you care uh, what you say and how you say it? Just say your piece, nail it, bring it all there. Don't leave anything behind and really, really sell yourself. Now, I'm going to tell you something too. Uh, just don't give those generic stories. Please do not give them those generic stories like, oh, you know, I'm a mean, I, I'm of a mean side, but I'm a really good person. Uh, things like that. They don't care about that. They really, really, really do not care about that. So if that's part of your pitch, throw it out the window, start off, start off new because they don't care about that stuff. They don't care if you have a mean side or if one time back in high school you did this. They don't care. You know, you have to sell yourself. You have to be a character. Um, you know, there's a role you have to fit. It's a big big puzzle. The cast is a puzzle. They want you to get along with certain people. They want you to not get along with certain people. That's part of it. It's a, it's a show. It's drama. It's a TV show. It's a business. I've said it before. Big Brother is a business first and foremost. They're there to make money. If they're not going to make money, they're not going to have a show. It's a business at the end of the day. So um, they don't really care, um, to be honest, I don't think they care how you would play the game. I think they want you as a person and as a character on what you bring to the table. Um, like what, what's so different about you? They want to have different players, different people. They don't want to have 10 jocks in there or 10 whatever in there. They want to have different types of people and you just have to be the best of that type or you have to at least convince them that you are the best of that type of character what do you bring to the table what's so different about you than everybody else that's auditioning across canada why do people want to see you you have to convince them that people want to see you now my best advice do not talk about ratings don't say if i'm on the show you're going to get better ratings realistically no you're not going to get better ratings they're not going to get better ratings by you being on the show they don't know who you are nobody knows who you are you're not going to get better ratings that's not the case and i'm sure they hate to hear that um it's not going to work don't tell them that that's a big strike a big no no do not say that um but again bring something to the table that the guy beside you can't bring you know and if 
you know, and another thing too is you got to sell yourself. So you really got to, you know, kind of oversell yourself a little bit and you can embellish a little bit. That's fine. You know, just you have to give them the reason to say yes and do not, do not, do not walk away. Uh, if you feel like you haven't given your all, just keep going, let them have your peace. And uh, it's very, very, very important that at least you leave it all on the table. Um, anyway, that's the first step on that. Now I want to get into a couple of questions they might ask you. So I'll use the one they asked me personally. Okay. So I had a guy, um, the guy that was uh, casting me was, it, he was sitting across and he said, okay, now you tell me why I should pick you over everybody else here and everyone ac across Canada go. So use that, put that question in your mind right now. So pretend to yourself while you're watching this video, hit pause and answer that question right now out loud, out loud, say, why? Should I pick you over everybody here auditioning and everyone across Canada go? That's question number one. And that's what they asked me personally. I know another question they'd like to ask is who would you evict here and why in this group? Who would you evict out of these people and why? Now there's a couple of ways to look at this. Okay. You could, I don't know how they're looking for the answer, but you could go for the easy route. Like, oh, this person, cause they're the older person or this person, because I don't like them, whatever it is. Come up with a reason and make it count. Make it a good reason. Don't be like, oh, because I don't like her hair. That's not a good answer. Also, if someone picks you, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing if everybody there wants to evict you because they're all looking at you. They're all paying attention to you. So obviously there's something about you that these people, you know, maybe rubs them the wrong way or they don't like. Maybe the producer likes that. All the attention is on you. So, you know, that could be another good thing too. So even when you're giving your answer, be careful who you say it because you could be putting the spotlight on somebody else in your own edition. Another thing I want to talk about is while you are in line, okay, the game already started. Do not sit in line and tell people your strategies or tell people this or you're a super fan or you're this. No, the game already started. There could be two, maybe three people in that same line that make the season. If you sit there and tell them your entire game plan and you end up in the same house as them, the same season as them, you've already spilled your game to them. So be very, very, very careful and not necessarily to them, but there could be people around. He can hear, she can hear whatever it is. The game started. If you're making a fool of yourself in the lineup and you make it in the house and the person that watched you make a fool ends up in the house too, they can already maybe not like you. They got to play the game from the auditions. Keep your mouth shut, your ears open, pay attention to everything and everyone around you. You know, I know, um, I believe there was people on one of the seasons I played that they saw each other at auditions. Hey, something like that can literally break the ice when you're in the house. Like, Hey, I saw you at the auditions or whatever. You can use anything as an example. When you're please, please, please. When you're in line on audition, do not open your mouth and say the wrong things. Ears open, mouth shut. That's the best advice I can give you. So another thing I want to talk about is I have no pull in getting any of you in the house. Not me, not anybody that has ever played the game before. We don't have any pull on who gets picked to be in the cast. So please, you got to stop asking me to put in a good word for you or this or that. I have no say, no pull, zero, nothing of who gets cast. Um, but you know what? Bring the fire, bring the entertainment. Uh, bring personality. Another thing I want to talk about, um, like for me personally, uh, what I have is personality, charisma, maybe things like that. And that works to my advantage. Okay. Uh, but I have no cool tricks. So for me to make a video, uh, didn't make sense. I had to go in in person and this, the producer had to see me in person to get my personality and all that stuff because it wouldn't come across the same on a video. Or, you know, again, like I'll use Bobby Halat as an example from season three. He's a rock climber. He's a surfer. He's a skateboarder. He's a snowboarder. The guy is just an animal. He's a great athlete. So he can show his, his, all the things he can do is cool tricks, you know, climbing a building or slacklining or whatever he's doing because they're cool, cool tricks to show on a camera, things he can do. And he can show them, uh, look, this is what I can do. Where for me, I don't have any cool tricks. Really. I just have personality and charisma. So, uh, it depends on what your strengths are. Um, and that's what I always tell people. If you have cool tricks, 
Make a video. Show them. Don't tell them. Show them your cool tricks like Bobby did and it worked for him. Or if you're more of a guy with personality or a girl personality, charisma, a gift of gab, whatever it is, go in person and show them that. That's what it is. That's the trick, guys. Again, for me to make a video, I probably wouldn't have got cast because I just, my personality doesn't come through on video or camera or whatever. They had to see it in person uh, for it to come through. Where somebody else, um, it's the complete opposite. So whatever works best for you guys, uh, that's what you need to do. Uh, again, if you if you have a lot of cool tricks, do the video. Show them the tricks. Don't tell them, oh, I'm from uh, Nova Scotia. This is my beautiful city. They don't care. They don't care. They they have thousands and thousands and thousands of applications and videos and things to go through. They don't care about the backstory of your city. They don't care. They don't care if you're from Ottawa. Like I told them, I thought, you know, at the time there was nobody from Ottawa cast. And part of my audition, you know, I was already halfway through it. I said, you know what? I want to be the first person to represent Ottawa, our capital of Canada. You know, we've never had a player. And the guy literally looked at me dead square in the eye and said, I don't care where you're from. I literally don't give a shit where you're from. That's what he told me. So I was like, all right, cool. And it's the truth. They don't care. If they find 10 people from Ottawa in one season, then they find 10 people from Ottawa. They want the best for the show, the best for the season. So if you're going to waste half your video talking about Ottawa or Toronto, how beautiful it is, just throw it out, start over. They don't care. They really, really don't care. Don't waste their time. Also, your video, make the, the first 30 seconds really pop and grab their attention. Again, they have to go through so many videos, so many audition tapes. A lot of them are going to be the same and they're just going to skip through them. If it's like, hey, you know, boring stuff, they don't care. They don't have time for that. They really, really, really do not care. So make a count right off the bat, grab their attention and go from there. Do not give backstories on how beautiful uh, whatever Winnipeg is, they don't care. So cool tricks, grab their attention off the start. If you're going in person, walk up to them with attitude, not a bad attitude, but own it. When you walk up to them, look them dead square in the eye. Do not look away. Look directly in that producer's eye the entire time you're walking up to them until you say your speech. Uh, own it, own it, own it, own it. That's my advice to you. All right, so I want to say, guys, if you are planning on audition, good luck. Um, you know, I can't wait to watch the season. I can't wait to see you play. And, you know, I know there's people from season six that watch my audition uh, advice and it worked for them. They took what they wanted to take from it. They left what they didn't. And that's fine. And I'm telling you the same thing. Take what you want from it and leave what you don't. And, you know, just make it your own. Make it original. Um and stuff like that so good luck i will be watching a hundred percent i'm gonna be very very involved um i wish you all the best of luck can't wait to party with you guys when it's all over and uh you know try to keep it a secret because people have um been cut uh in the finals and stuff like that because you know they were telling people they were on the show this and that so you know for your own good try to keep it a secret i know it's exciting and you want to tell everybody um i know there's people I've played with that told everybody they didn't get caught that's fine but I myself uh, I didn't tell anybody I just told my wife and I left it at that but you know my advice to you just don't take the chance don't taste the, take the risk you're this far in the process uh, just you know just hold out they'll see you on TV um, respect the process anyway guys good luck can't wait to see you I will be watching and good luck take it easy